the next news wow this looks like a fun one uh it's based in the usa and the title says what name comes to mind when you think of atheism many americans say satan okay um let's see what the summary says the summary is saying who is the first person who comes to mind when you think of atheism for me is stephen hawkins who is it for you shippa I would I would actually say your name and Richard Dawkins. My, oh, but really? <laughs> That's a, yeah. Oh, I mean, you were so one of the sweet. first atheists to inspire me. Like, okay. Go oh, activist that is so about sweet. Atheism. Thank you. All right. So the summary continues. The Pew Research. By the way, the Pew Research Pew is one of the best sources for data out there. Okay. I'm not saying you don't get things wrong, but it's one of the best. Okay. The Pew Research Center asked that question along with similar ones concerning the major world religions, and they just released their responses. It won't surprise you to learn that Buddhism prompted Buddha. So 55% of the people that asked, uh, that were asked, what, who do you think of when you hear of Buddhism? 55% said Buddha. Only 55? Uh, who are these 45% of people? I don't uh, maybe know. Maybe Dalai Lama. Dalai Lama, also. Dalai Lama, yeah, maybe Dalai Lama. But okay. But who else would you think of first if you mentioned Buddhism other than the Buddha and the Dalai Lama? That would be, I want to meet those people that come up with the third option. That's very weird. Uh, so it cast, the question for uh, Catholicism led to the Pope. Obviously, 47% people of people said the Pope. Weird. Who are the 53%? I want to know the second top answer. This is interesting. So 6% of Americans thought that Satan, Satan when they prompted with atheism. Six percent is not that high. So why does the title says? Okay, it says many. It doesn't say most. So I guess six percent is many. So six percent of Americans think of Satan when you mention atheism. That's. I would honestly, I think that's lower than I expected. Fifty-one uh, percent of Americans couldn't think of anyone. That is. Yeah. Okay. That's a problem, and that is something I expected. Okay. There is no atheist. People, you know, this is a problem with normalizing atheism, right? You can't, if, this is the same, now if you say like, oh, gay, there are a lot of people you admire or like that comes in people's minds in America, right? And that's why you manage to normalize, those, you know, being gay, for example, in America. I bet you if you say transgender, less people are going to come up with a name than gay. And that's why, like, transgender is not normalized yet in America as much as being gay is normalized, right? And the fact that a lot of people, if people could think of somebody that they like when you say atheist, then that is the process of normalizing atheism, right? So 51% of Americans could, couldn't think of anyone when they mention atheists. 10% said it was someone they knew personally. That's prog, 10% is good. So to normalize atheism, when you say atheist, you either have to think of somebody personal that you know that you like, or some celebrity or somebody famous that you know that you like. That is how you normalize atheism, okay? So we have 10% of people saying personal, but 50% said no one, 6% said Satan. Um, so, but, no, but not that many people are mentioning anybody that is famous. 26% gave a smattering of random answers, people who aren't famous enough. 4%, only 4% said Richard Dawkins, or Madeleine O'Hare, who was murdered in 1995. 4% only. And these 4% are probably the activists, the people that follow Atheist Republic or other atheist pages or groups on uh, social media. So, I mean, Richard Dawkins is not a good option for average people. Like, we need to... Like, for Richard Dawkins is a good option for us, like the... Atheist activists or people that follow these things, no Richard Dawkins and stuff, and Sam Harris or people like that. But if you want to normalize atheism, the people that you think of when you think of atheism should not be the activists. It should be like someone like Stephen Hawkins, right? Like the pe is already famous and he's an atheist, right? He was an atheist, so that's what we need. That's how you normalize atheism. So this this is a good report for us as atheist activists, like me and you, to know what we, what we need to work on, right? We have done a very good job in, Atheist Republic has done a very good job in normalizing atheism with showing that is 
there's a lot of us out there. We, we are the world's largest atheist community uh, with two, more than 2,300,000 followers on Facebook, right? But so that number just helps show people like, you know what? There's a lot of us out there like that. So in that regards, we've done a good job. And we with Atheist Day, which is on March 23rd, we're doing a lot more to help people know people personally that they're atheists to normalize it that way. Right. So March 23rd is Atheist Day. Please, 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 on March 23rd, come out with the hashtag Atheist Day. Hold a green circle, which is the symbol of Atheist Day. If you don't know why that's the symbol of Atheist Day, just search for it on atheistday.org. Right. The, the explanation is there. It's just a green circle. It's very easy to draw. You could draw it on your hand. You could draw it on paper. You could draw it on a wall. Don't vandalize. Um, you could draw it anywhere um, and hold it in front. You know, if it's not safe, don't show your face um, or don't do it at all if it's not safe. You know what risks you're taking. You're you're an adult. You respond. You know what to do. But just just be just use the green circle on March 23rd on Atheist Day to be open about your atheism so I could normalize this shit. Okay, we need to normalize this. It's about time. Come on, guys. So just when you use the word atheist, you're helping uh, fight the demonization of atheism. A lot of people are atheists, but they don't use that word because they're like, oh, I don't want to make people uncomfortable. If you, you if it's safe for you and if you use it, you're helping remove the taboo. You, you're breaking a taboo. You're making it easier for people after us. You're making it easier for people that live in places where it's not easy to be an atheist. You're making it normal to the rest of the world. So on March 23rd, just use the hashtag Atheist Day. Use it, make, take a selfie of yourself. Come, just post it. It's just a small green circle. And it's not any, this is somebody that anybody could use. There's no copyright, trademark, anything. This is belongs to everybody. Even people that are not affiliated with us or don't like us, they could go make it their own. This year, we're not doing any events around ACS Day because of the coronavirus. Um, it's just selfies. Um, it's very easy to do. All you need to do is just to take a green, you know, pen or circle. You could just draw it on your hand towards the camera, take a picture, post, hashtag atheism. You could include the message. You don't have to include the message. Um, yeah, and if you can't even do that, go search for the hashtag atheist day and share the people, share the videos or pictures of people who are doing it. If you want to do a little bit extra, make a video. Make a video with the green circle. Say something, okay? Say something. Um, yeah, and say happy atheist day to your fellow atheists. And you don't even have to be an atheist. You could be like, you know what? I'm not an atheist, but this is bullshit. Why are why is atheism looked down upon? Why are why is it so hard for people to be open to, about their atheism in so many places in this world? I'm not an atheist, but this is bullshit. I'm an I support atheists' rights to be to live free and be open about who they are and what they believe and what they don't believe. And uh, happy atheist day. You could be like happy atheist day to my fellow atheist friends, even though I'm not an atheist. Do that. You're helping. You're helping normalize something. You don't have to be, be an atheist to think that that's a good thing to do. Um, okay, sorry, this went on a tangent. Eh? Let me just see what the top comment says. Top comment says, "I believe in God, but love atheists too, because of their logical and analytical approach." Pre peace. That's very sweet, Aqua. Technically, I don't agree with you, but I still love your comment. Um, a lot of atheists are not analytical or logical, but that's fine. You don't have to be, I mean, it's not fine, but we don't have to be logical or analytical for me to recognize that you don't deserve to be discriminated against or looked down upon because of your atheism. A lot of atheists are not logical. You know, we're not, we're not claiming, we're not trying to claim that atheists are better or superior. We're just trying to make them not be treated as inferior. Okay. That's all. We don't want to say like, oh, they're more logical. They're more analytical. They're, you know, they just got the answer to one question better than other people. They might get the question, answer to other questions wrong or be dumber in other things. It's fine. What we're, not say, we're not claiming superiority. We're just fighting inferiority. We're just fighting discrimination, ostracize, ostracization, demonization, torture, murder, imprisonment. That's what we're fighting and we just want to normalize it, okay? So, but even though I don't agree with your second part of, I still um, like this comment. I appreciate it because 
you're you believe in God, but you don't look down on atheists. So that's uh, I still appreciate your comment. Lewis saying many Americans on here claim that they have the best education system on the planet. I don't know what this got to do. Oh, okay, fine, never mind. Um, B B G posted the link to atheist. Um, the, you know, to more information about Atheist Day. If you want to get more information about it, it's atheistday.org. His Holiness saying there's a long-standing cultural tradition amongst American Protest Protestants about think the Pope is Satan. Yeah, I know that. Um, yeah, Russ is saying there's no green emoji. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, it's fine. Maybe, oh, guys, if we manage to ever get a green emoji for Atheist Day, that means that we made it. We made it. Like just like the LGBTQ people have their green, their not green, their rainbow flag and everything. We should manage to one day make this such a big thing. The green circle for ACS Day is such a big thing that even imagine like in Pride Week when the, these companies put like gay flags all over their logos. Imagine if fighting for atheists, uh, fighting against atheist discrimination and demonization becomes so big that companies change the logo to the green circle. <laughs> Imagine that day, right? Like we could, uh, that means at that point, we could just, yeah, this one day, one day. Um, we, keep, we have a lot to learn from the gay rights movement. They have accomplished a lot. Again, when I say they have accomplished a lot, it doesn't mean that the job is done. We are, you know, light years away from finishing gay rights and trans rights activism but they have done so much they have come so far and the atheist movement has to learn from their success Shobham did you want to add anything before I go to the next thing? yeah I wanted to add like uh, first thing is like Richard Dawkins and Madeleine aware they got like 4% uh, responses each it's not like 4% of oh, them said okay. either it's like 4% said Richard Dawkins and 4% said Madeleine aware thank you for coming a lengthier list also says like 2% said Stephen Hawking, 2% said Bill Maher, and 1% said Christopher Hitchens. Mm. And, and Wait, for how, some reason... Wait, anybody said Stephen Hawking or no? Yeah, what? What, did you mention Stephen Hawking? No. Yeah, 2% okay. said Stephen Hawking. Oh, good, good. So we have, at least it shows up on the data. Good. Yeah, I mean, and also for some reason, 1% of them said Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> and, and then uh, a little those less are than probably, 1 those said are Barack Obama. Oh, wow. <laughs> you know, the Jesus answer is probably the people that answer to everything with Jesus. It's like, <laughs> do you think it's going to rain tomorrow? Jesus! Like, <laughs> what's your favorite color? Jesus! <laughs> yeah. I mean... Uh, uh, in right. in the article, by the way, Hemant mentioned something which, like you also mentioned, like uh, kind of, it's that uh, atheists are not as popular now because then most of the names people said would are likely the names people would have said even a decade ago. Mm -hmm. Like even a decade ago, you have you are someone they would say probably Christopher Hitchens and Richard Dawkins. I mean, no new names have been added to the list mm. since then. So that is kind of a problem for atheism. Oh, interesting. By the way, another godless atheist is pointing something important, uh, saying there is a green atheist they filter for Facebook profile pictures. I, I suggest you guys actually take a selfie with the actual green circle. It's not that hard to make a green circle. Uh, well, but if you can, oh yeah. But if you, oh, actually, if you really can draw a green circle, you could do what Chopin is doing right now. Uh, he's just loading a green circle on his phone. Just search for atheist day symbol or and it will be all, and Google Images, and you can just take a picture with that. So there's really no excuses. But if you can't even do that, yeah, you could use the Facebook filter as well. Um, anything to bring attention to the fact that we are here, you know, we're like, we exist, hello. You know, and if people see like, if you're, if you, people see that we exist, then it's harder to demonize people that you know. Right? It's harder to demonize people that are. By the way, when in the process of normalizing atheism, don't deny the existence of our assholes. A lot of people are like, oh, you make you give atheism a bad name, you're embarrassing us. Nobody is embarrassing you except you, okay? Um, we are not, we, we shouldn't go as far as saying, you know, a lot of 
human rights movements went extra. Like, like, oh, these people are, uh, it started with these people are not bad. These people are not less than anyone else. And as soon as they got any progress, they, all of a sudden they went to like, hey, we want privileges now and superior, you know, and we want to claim superiority. We should be careful we're not doing that. We should just like stay and like, hey, we're not inferior, okay? So... I'm not, I'm not worried about, I, like a lot of atheists seem to want to hide our assholes. I don't hide, hide our assholes. I highlight our assholes, okay? Because we have to be honest about the problems that we have in our community. Again, we don't claim that we're better than other people. We just want to claim that we're not less than other people, okay? Um, anyways, should I go to next news? Oh, wait. So Chris, in the live chat, Chris is saying he's surprised more people don't think of you. You guys overestimate <laughs> me by a mile, by, by millions of miles. Okay, so news. thank you for joining us. Subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell thingy. If you haven't, I don't know why, What has? what's holding you back, okay? If you haven't subscribed to our channel, why haven't you subscribed to our channel? Explain that to us, please. Like bell <laughs> and also if you if you're not getting notifications and stuff because youtube is not telling people that we have shows because youtube is like oh this person told us that they want to get your shows right they want to get your videos but nah you we think is no and oh look oh they also hit the bell button but nah you guys are too controversial we want to show them mainstream stuff we want to show them cnn or cat videos or whatever but even there are people like, no, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, we don't think you want this. They're like, no, please show it to us. We say to you, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, we think we know what's better for you than you yourself. So to solve that, link, there's a link in the description, uh, which is to our newsletter. So hopefully some of our, we could email it to you. So hopefully you get some of our content that way. Okay. So yeah subscribe to our newsletter as well and share share our videos because you know we do get demonetized that's an obvious on every one of our videos so f that but we don't care about that anymore <laughs> but we also get deprioritized and that's even more damaging to us deprioritize what does that mean that means we're not we don't show up on the suggested you know videos on the right and all that you know on the on people's home pages and that's how channels grow unfortunately we can't grow so we need you guys to share our videos 